Here's your StormTrack 7 forecast. Good afternoon, I'm StormTrack 7 meteorologist Joshua Franson. We had some lingering showers move through this morning, maybe a brief rumble of thunder and rainfall totals very light as of now, but we've also warmed up to about the 70s outside. It's very pleasant and well, we'll pretty much be partly cloudy throughout the day and we'll still have those stray showers Initial ones will move out of our area before we're left with partly cloudy skies. But later on in the evening, we actually see another round of potential showers and maybe a brief rumble, rumble of thunder later on by about 10 to 11 p.m. And these will move through our area. And once they do, we'll pretty much be left clear overnight into tomorrow morning. And this will carry throughout the entirety of tomorrow to make way for a very sunny day with decent temperatures up in the upper to mid 80s so or so but one thing that will be entering or remaining should I say in our area is that wildfire smoke we're gonna see it today and it's gonna generate some haze but we're gonna basically put up with it throughout the rest of the week as we'll persist into this evening then into tomorrow and increase in thickness here and there and then even into Thursday as we go further out with our smoke tracker here it just hangs around in our area so we're gonna be dealing with the haze over the next few days maybe a red sunrise or sunset. I know I bring that up a bunch, but with this smoke in the air, those particles can allow the sun to look very pretty in the morning and evening hours. Now, one of the reasons why is because the winds keep aloft, keep blowing it in. But one interesting thing is the winds at our surface is they are also going to cause us some problems today. Well, if you think about it as a problem, well, we have a low pressure or a surface low sitting up in South Dakota that's actually going to allow our winds to increase today and be quite strong. So probably see sustained winds 10 to 20 miles an hour out of the south, which helps drive up our heat, but it's also gonna gust up to 25 miles per hour potentially today before it tapers off into the evening and overnight hours. So it'll be a little windy out there and in the days ahead, it's gonna remain windy as while we will see 20 mile per hour winds today, we'll be sustained at 15 till Friday to kick up our temperatures before we finally drop back down when tropical storm Francine decays and makes its way up here to cool us off a bit with some cloud cover. And then we'll jump back up next week when we kick those winds back up out of the south. But dew points are luckily gonna stay on the lower end as we heat up. We'll be sitting in the 50s to have that dry heat this week. But then later into the weekend, we start to see them kick back up. Friday and Saturday, get up to 57 Friday and then Saturdays when we enter that slightly humid category. So we're looking just to be a little bit more humid this weekend and next week after this initial heat passes on through. So today, expect our temperatures to be in the upper 70s, lower 80s. We'll be hazy with that wildfire smoke and we'll have a chance at rain throughout the afternoon and into the evening, otherwise partly cloudy skies and quite windy outside with those gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Later tonight, that chance at rain remains and we'll see a 20% chance of maybe an isolated shower or two, nothing too uh, heavy when it comes to that rainfall, but otherwise sitting in the upper to mid 50s and winds remain out of the south, die down to about five to 10 miles an hour. City by city forecast showing us that Wednesday will be sunny, but will also be hazy temperatures in the upper to mid 80s. And then Thursday, partly cloudy skies get a little bit warmer, getting close to 90 in Waterloo. And then on our 10 day forecast, well, into the weekend, clouds begin to build, and then Sunday we see a chance at rain for temperatures level out in the mid-80s and lows in the lower 60s.